The Amazon is an incredible place full of incredible things, and that includes incredible rivers. But contained within those incredible rivers, no matter how beautiful, are some of the most dangerous water creatures known to man. These are the deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. Number 15. Goonch Fish These fish are not only dangerous to other animals swimming around them, they are also a potential threat to humans. The Goonch has even made an appearance on British television show River Monsters, hosted by biologist, adventurer, and extreme angler Jeremy Wade. This massive creature creates a giant silhouette under the riverbed, which is a crazy sight. But crazier still is the size of this beast. Tiny small eyes and beast whiskers, you know, and it's very interesting that Gunja. The largest ever found weighed in at a record breaking 230 pounds and measured 6.6 .6 feet long. Also known as a Begarius urelli, or the devil catfish, this creature glides effortlessly through the waters it lives in. Due to its size, the goonch is easily seen in the clearer patches of water throughout the Amazon River. Its enormous appendages protrude from its face like other catfish species, but this species is unique to the river. Its name sounds like something straight out of a fictional storybook, and even the fish itself is considered almost mythical. As a member of the catfish family, it's often found swimming in the rivers of northern India and Nepal, and other rivers of the Asian subcontinent where the conditions suit its needs. Not a lot is known about the goonch's feeding patterns, reproduction, migration behavior, lifespan, or even its interaction with other fish of the same species. Researchers have much to learn about this fish and its life in the wild. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Giant Leech This creature is terrifying. In fact, it wouldn't be out of place in a horror film. The giant Amazon leech silently slides towards its victims, searching for a tasty meal. This meal comes in the form of blood. Yeah, it is literally a real-life vampire, just, you know, without the wings and the obvious fangs. They bury themselves into the sand. The official title of this giant character is Hemantaria gileanii. Not only is it more than a little creepy, it's also considered quite deadly due to its thirst for blood. Fortunately, because it is so large, it can't exactly creep up on you. So if you notice one feasting on your skin, get rid of it immediately. One of the world's largest living species of leech, they grow upwards of 450 millimeters long and 100 millimeters wide. There are also approximately 650 species of these segmented worm-like creatures, so you're likely to encounter one at least once in your life. All are characterized by their small sucker where their mouth is located. The leech uses this sucker to latch onto any living creature, sucking the blood from them. This is how they feed. Blood is an essential part of their diet. Leeches are more common in freshwater, but can be found in the ocean and even on land. So they are literally everywhere. Not sure how I feel about that. Leeches are also known to be predators of other living animals. Some eat organic debris, and others are purely parasitic. Number 13. Stingray. This creature spends its days floating through the shallow waters of either the river or the ocean. It can sometimes be buried deep in the sand and often blends in due to its coloring. And that is where the danger lies. Known throughout the world as a potentially deadly threat, the stingray is considered one of the deadliest river monsters in the Amazon. Get some gloves, we'll hold the tail, and then we'll get the hook out. Get the pliers too. Preferring temperate coastal waters, stingrays are known to hunt for their prey. They also like to play games. In fact, if there was a top prize in a game of hide-and-seek, it would definitely have to go to this sneaky underwater creature. These dangerous fish spend a lot of time inactive, partially buried in the sand, only moving when the tide forces them to do so. Stingrays are long and flat with a large, sharp spine on the end of their tails. This tail with its sharp barb incapacitates the victims with the underside producing venom, which is fatal to humans. This venom can still be deadly long after the stingray's death. 
Moving through water like a wave, these animals flap their sides just like a bird flaps its wings. These go-with-the-flow characters may appear calm in their natural habitat, but they can carry out quite the deadly attack, especially if they feel threatened. They're not small either, with some reportedly growing to a huge 7 feet wide and 4 meters long. This makes them one of the larger predatory animals in the Amazon River. Number 12. Mata Mata Turtle this clever South American native has the mix just right. Over the years, the Mata Mata turtle has evolved to the point it now looks like leaves and debris that have been left scattered on the riverbed. Instead, it is yet another river monster of the Amazon lying in wait for its unsuspecting victim. Its camouflage is so clever it's almost impossible to spot, and it sits ready to strike and ambush any fish or animal that drifts past. Once a target has been located, the turtle snaps at it, opening its large, wide mouth and sucking the poor, defenseless creature in like a vacuum. Whoa! Got him. Mata Mata translates to kill, kill in Spanish. If that isn't enough to put you off, I don't know what will. These turtles are normally brown or black and have been found to measure up to 18 inches in length and weigh upwards of 15 kilograms. That's a pretty decent sized turtle, don't you think? In the wild, they live to around 30 years of age and, unlike other turtles, don't appear to bask or swim very much. They truly are one of a kind. Number 11. Green Anaconda The green anaconda is a semi-aquatic snake and a member of the boa family. It can grow to a whopping 29 feet long, weigh more than 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter. This animal's size is often exaggerated, and it may also be pure speculation that they love to rush up on and attack humans. It is, in fact, extremely rare that these huge constrictor snakes actually kill and eat human beings. Anacondas humans as prey. They do, however, enjoy eating large animals. They need to do this to gain sufficient energy to survive. <laughs> These large snakes can survive without eating for up to a year, so when they have a meal, they make sure it's a good one. They don't use a huge amount of energy to live, as they are a cold-blooded reptile. The danger with the anaconda, like any animal, is when it is cornered and feels threatened. These giant snakes can become very nervous and their senses are heightened. This is when they are at their most dangerous and can strike without warning. It pays to be extremely vigilant when entering their habitat, because one wrong move and you could be on the menu. Number 10. Hey Ara. This fish is frequently compared to a vampire, and it's obvious why. Their large, sharp teeth make them the perfect predator. These fish don't give a damn about anyone or anything, and have even been seen feasting on fish of their own species. Absolute cannibals, they will attack smaller fish like minnows, tetras, trout, and shrimp, and bigger prey without a care in the world. And they're not even that large. Most range between just 2 and 3 feet long, and weigh up to 35 pounds at best. It is the teeth on these sneaky creatures that are the real danger. There's a small one here. These fangs can extend to a huge six inches long. In fact, they are so long that the payara is born with holes in their upper jaw, just so there's room to fit them when they eventually grow in. They are agile and streamlined for power and speed, with their fan-shaped caudal fin allowing them to swim through the fast currents of the Amazon with ease. Their silver colorings, along with darker markings and huge teeth, are the best way to tell them apart from other fish of this species. Not much else is known about the payara, but you can bet I'm not putting my hand up to find out. Number 9. Sawfish The sawfish is strong enough to cut other fish clean in half so surely it would be strong enough to cut a tree branch in half, right? This intriguing looking character gets its name from its long flat nose extension which is lined with sharp teeth like that of a chainsaw. Related to the shark family, the sawfish moves and looks deadly, but it can also reach a whopping 23 feet in length. 
That is one large water dwelling chainsaw. Anytime we can catch a sawfish, it's a great day on the water. We land the fish, we like to bring them to. They are typically found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. They are not placid creatures either. In fact, they quickly become vicious predators, especially when provoked. Their saw-like mouth is used as a deadly weapon. They hit their victims hard, cutting them clean in half and feasting on what remains. It sounds like a horror movie. No wonder there are so many with the name saw in circulation. The sawfish is a type of ray with a flat body. This makes them appear sluggish when moving through the water. They're also bottom dwellers, using their nose as a rake to cover themselves in sand. This is a great defense mechanism to keep them safe from larger predators. Number 8. Arapaima a native to the Amazon River, the Arapaima gigas is quite the deadly river monster. These giant fish are a favorite food amongst the Amazonian natives, who catch them with a simple wooden harpoon. They either eat or use every single part of the fish, including making jewelry out of its scales. These scales can sometimes be as large as 4 inches in length, which makes for a fine piece of bling. Their bony tongues are also utilized as scrapers. Also known as the pitch or the piraruku, this fish is unique as it is an air breather. They have tapered copper green heads, a red dorsal fin, upturned mouths, and scaly streamlined bodies that are black with a white center. These fish can be aggressive and are known to attack anything that ventures into its habitat. They are also considered one of the largest freshwater fish in existence and can grow upwards of 15 feet long and weigh around 440 pounds. The average catch has been recorded at around 6 feet long and weighing 200 pounds. But that is still one heck of a fish, wouldn't you say? Particularly given its reputation for violence. Number 7. Paku the Paku fish has a mouth filled with human-like teeth, and it isn't afraid to use them. This fish, thought to be native to the South America area, is recognized by its oddly unfish-like teeth, which bear an eerie resemblance to human teeth. These teeth are strong enough to crush soft bone, food pellets, and nuts, so you would feel it latch onto you, even if it were just by mistake. Pakus are well known for feasting on plants, and this causes a problem in the rivers that it inhabits. There's like watermarks now. Gosh. They occasionally feed on other fish, which include native species. They are also known to spread parasites and disease, and are responsible for a lot of death and decay in Amazon waters. Even though they are quite fearsome to look at, they are mostly considered harmless to humans, despite their close resemblance to the aggressive piranha. There was one well-publicized attack, however, that involved a Scottish toddler. The child was wiggling its fingers in the water, and the paku grabbed hold of the potential meal, only to find it was attached to a human. Makes you wonder who got the biggest fright, the toddler or the fish. But we can all learn a lesson from that incident. Keep your fingers out of the water. Number 6. Poison Dart Frog Considered the most poisonous and deadly frog in the world, the poison dart frog is tiny but dangerous. On average, the little frog grows to between 0.4 and 2.4 inches long. They're quite a cute little character, but pose a significant threat to anything that comes into contact with them. This frog oozes a poison from their skin, which is incredibly toxic to touch, let alone ingest. The toxins alone cause severe nausea, swelling, muscular paralysis, and in some severe cases, death. This colorful and adorable looking creature's toxin is an alkaloid called batrachotoxin. When a high dose has made its way into or onto its victim, it's pretty much all over. Scientists say that a large enough dose has the potential to kill 10 human beings. Fortunately, or unfortunately, however you like to look at it, the poison is likely to kill the victim within 10 minutes of it entering the bloodstream. 
There are over 100 species of poison dart frogs, and all belong to the Dendrobotidae family. They inhabit forest areas, including the Amazon, and come in many colors, including yellow, gold, copper, red, green, blue, or black. These frogs have a distinct pattern on their body that helps them ward off potential predators. I wouldn't imagine there'd be too many considering how lethal they are. Surely that rumor would get around the animal kingdom pretty fast, don't you think? Number 5. Red-Bellied Piranhas The red-bellied piranha is a South American fish that is considered one of the deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. When I see one, I, I get a little yellow-bellied myself. Piranhas are known for their razor-sharp teeth and have a reputation for their aggressive feeding frenzies. Even their name means toothfish in Brazil. Wow. They're actually pretty. They are uh, better looking than... However, not all piranhas go crazy over the smell and taste of fish, and some species are actually plant eaters. The most common species of piranha are scientifically known as Pygocentris natureri, or the red-bellied piranha. The red-bellied piranha is considered the most dangerous of them all, growing to be around a foot long and weighing around four pounds. Attacks on humans are very rare, but this piranha is still one of the more aggressive and dangerous species. They generally feed independently, well, at least until a real feast is found, then they'll signal the others and all will begin to swarm. I imagine it's quite the sight. The red-bellied piranha is found throughout the low elevation ranges of the Amazon River Basin and exists in both slow and fast-moving waters. Number 4. Giant Otter the cute and cheeky otter is also considered one of the deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. How can that be, I hear you say? Well, there is a giant species of otter in the Amazon River that is considered the world's largest. And with that title, it also creates large problems. <laughs> This six-foot-long troublemaker lives throughout the rivers and creeks of the Amazon, Orinoco, and La Plata river systems. These animals are extremely territorial and protective of their young. This is where they become most dangerous. A giant otter nearly killed a young child and seriously injured the older women that intervened in order to protect its babies. To survive in this area, the largest member of the weasel family uses its tail and powerful legs to force itself through the water. They have webbed feet, water-repellent fur to keep them dry and warm, and nostrils and ears that close in the water, which are all an added benefit for this particular otter. These animals also have very sharp teeth and claws, so can do a lot of damage. Seriously, they are not as cute and cuddly as you might think. My advice? Check them out from a distance. Number 3. Bull Shark The bull shark is aggressive, has sharp teeth, is always hungry, fast, and deadly. This pretty much sums up why it is considered one of the deadliest river monsters of the Amazon. A common shark, the bull shark normally lives in or near highly populated areas within tropical shorelines. They choose this type of area to inhabit as they make a great buffet for a greedy shark. But if you think you're safe from these fish when swimming inland, unfortunately, you would be wrong. The bull shark isn't picky about the type of water it can survive in. In fact, it's even been known to venture inland through rivers, making the Amazon River a perfect place to venture into. Its strong mouth is full of razor-sharp teeth that won't hesitate to sink into anything in its path. Soon, a big bull shark comes up and takes a close look at the piece of fish I'm offering. Scientists believe that the bull shark should be considered the most dangerous shark in the world. Alarmingly, it is classed as one of the top three sharks likely to attack a human. With a short, blunt snout, these curious sharks tend to headbutt their prey before attacking. They feed on fish, dolphins, and even other sharks. Humans, however, are not considered part of their food source list. So if you feel something bump your leg the next time you're in the water, just stay calm and try to get to shore as quickly and quietly as possible. Number 2. Piraiba 
The piraiba is believed to be the largest catfish found in the Amazon area. It can exceed weights of 450 pounds. It is also very strong and more than capable of dragging a human into the water and taking you for a nasty ride. A very athletic and nosy fish. Uh, uh, I have to be very careful. Where is the hook? The piraiba will readily venture into open, running water in search of potential prey. Locals and campers in the area have even told horror stories of these giant beasts leaping out of the water. Apparently, the sound was quite phenomenal and woke them all from their sleep. Perhaps we're not even safe on land. The campers in this circumstance saw no apparent reason for this huge fish to be leaping out of the water either, so what it was doing is anyone's guess. These fish are not scared of anything and have even been seen chasing a school of 15 pound toothed wolf fish through shallower water. I don't know what would be more terrifying, seeing a school of wolf fish swimming towards you or seeing what was chasing them. I certainly wouldn't be hanging around to find out, would you? Number 1. Black Cayman Undoubtedly the scariest creatures of the Amazon, the black caiman should be given a wide berth. For those of you not familiar, black caiman are crocodilians, or large semi-aquatic predatory reptiles, found only in this specific area. They're found along river banks and streams, but also thrive in floodplain lakes, wetlands, and other inundated habitats with dense vegetation cover. They prefer slow-moving bodies of water. There are six different species of black caiman, so it's not always easy for you to decipher which one is sidling up beside you. If in doubt, get out. With all six species coming from the Alligatoridae family, they share a lot of commonalities. As a relative of the American alligator, they are the largest caiman species and can reach a huge 15 feet in length. They have large, sharp teeth and claws and can be aggressive with enough force and power to take down a jaguar. Adult males can grow to exceed 8 feet long and have a lifespan of around 15 years, given the right circumstances. These beasts of the Amazon prefer to prey on other jungle animals, but are large enough to pose a real threat to humans. Research suggests that between January 2008 and October 2013, black caimans were involved in at least 43 attacks on humans. That might not seem like many, but as far as I'm concerned, one attack on a human is one too many. If you're planning a trip to the Amazon, it might be an idea to do your research first. There are many fabulous animals that make this area in the world their home, and most you are no doubt hoping to meet. But there are a few that you're likely to encounter that certainly don't want to be friends. These characters need to be enjoyed from a distance, trust me. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!